Hello, everybody. <clears throat> I'm Slash and VC. This is Cataclysm. This is our character, Marcus Crump. He's the true food person. I wanted to install a uh, turret, a turret, on our hippie van. I looked up the recipe, and you needed this rare book in order to craft it. Um, you can find the book, but it's not going to be easy. I'll take those multivitamins. There's another option. We don't have to necessarily craft a turret. We could find a uh, fire truck or military vehicle that already has a turret mounted, such as, for example, this one. There it is. Turret mount. Let's see if we can remove that. Remove the attached mount. Uh, remove the attached mounted... Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I can't remove the turret mount without removing the attached grenade launcher. Which I can't do because I don't have a skill of one in launchers. That is a bummer. Hmm. I cannot unmount that because I'm not familiar enough with launchers, it says. Well, now, isn't that a shame? I think I may have a book about that. Well, that's not our only option. Wait, what was this other vehicle? I don't see a mounted turret on this one. Since now I think I kind of know what it looks like. That's some kind of a uh, cargo pickup truck probably. Apparently on the fire trucks, they've got a turret mount for their water cannon. I guess is how it works. Check out the uh, purple colors on this house. Reminds me of Food Place. Yeah, purple painted walls. It's just a regular house, only this one has stone walls. It's some kind of basement. This is a cemetery style we haven't checked out yet. What is this here? Ah, concrete wall. Well, I assume this is some kind of crypt. Hmm. Has anyone ever broken into a crypt before in Cataclysm? I'm curious. Do these headstones read anything? Oh, by the way, a gravestone has a level one anvil quality. We are uh, still on the lookout for a natural stone, which has a level, I believe it's three anvil quality. All right, now that's a pickup truck down there. This is a pickup truck. What is this, a heavy duty pickup truck? Heavy duty cargo truck, no turret mount. Ah, yes, here we go. This is what I was thinking I had seen a fire truck somewhere, and I think this is it here. I think that may be a fire truck. We'll have to go up there and check it out. And, oh, and then down from that potential candidate is... This is just a long van, probably. That may be a turret mount, however. I'm not sure. 
We'll have to go check out those vehicles. Sorry, folks. I don't normally play at this extreme zoom level. But for right now, I'm going to because I need to examine some of these vehicles from a distance. Actually... I know we're in safe territory because we have killed so many zombies in this area right here. We just slaughtered them. Here we go. Does this vehicle, I don't think it does have a turret mount. This right here is a trunk. Yeah. Red lights. Uh, this is a fire truck. There's a stow board. Let's go ahead and examine the vehicle because according to the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Cataclysm, these have turrets, but um, that may be a random chance and I didn't realize it. Trunk and aisles. So much trunk space. Well, unfortunately, I don't think that this fire truck has what we're looking for. That's okay. What is that? That's a vehicle mounted cooler because it's a refrigerated van. Okay, no dice on that. And then we've got this long vehicle here, which is a, just a flatbed truck, and it has a box, but not a turret. Okay, fair enough. Um, for some reason, we spotted a cow. It seems unlikely in every way. Okay, this is probably a police vehicle or something. It has the red and green lights. Yeah, police car. No turret. And what do we have here? Full-size van. It's not going to have one. Another flatbed truck. Oh, hello. Another potential problem with playing a too high of a zoom level, apparently. Hey, I assigned, I assigned you the letter, inventory letter W. After I've assigned something an inventory letter, shouldn't it stay assigned even if I drop it? Okay, when I picked it back up, it had the designation W, but when I went to pick it up, it didn't. It's weird. Ah, uh, getting back into zombie territory now. This is not my intention to uh, trifle with these zombies right now. We have a higher purpose. We even got them to the south, surprisingly. I was looking at this vehicle over here. There's a possibility it has a turret mount on it, actually. I'm going to wheel back around and go check it out. We've been over there before, but we didn't know what we were looking for. That's what I was looking at. Ah, so this is an ambulance. I don't think it's going to have a turret. Ah, uh, that's a bed. Okay, it looked a little strange. Then we've got the lights, and this should be what? Oh, the backup beeper. Okay. That's not going to help us. What kind of building is this? 
house with a zombie cop inside. Why isn't he coming through? Is this not a window? Yeah, it's a window. Oh, I see. He's caught in a bear trap. Look at this. Yeah, stuck in a bear trap. What kind of house is this that it had a bear trap on the inside? There's blood spatter here. A football helmet. A whole lot of filthy clothing, including a shredded military rucksack. There's something dangerous about this house. Do you think there was a... Uh, is there a landmine here or something? Oh, you know. I'll bet there was. I'll bet there was, because we were hearing explosions in this general vicinity. Yeah, here's where the uh, portal storm came down, I believe. And we were hearing all kinds of noises to the northeast, explosions and stuff. And we've got um, long dead zombies in this area. I swear I, I can't... Oh, of course he can't. Well, I don't want to get close to him. I want him to crawl through the window or bust. Let's examine these flyers. Advertisement for a local church. Visit St. Mary's on the river while it's not too late. Repent while you still can. A bridge too far. In a statement Monday, the Department of Defense detailed its plans to deploy strategic minefields on key bridge crossings in order to quarantine high hostility regions of rioting. Military personnel will be on site to assist any refugees fleeing the blackout zones. We urge citizens to comply with all military directives and avoid quarantined areas whenever possible until order can be restored. And yet we know order will not be restored. I should have stayed by the window. Another zombie trying to crawl out of there. Alright, we have another uh, vehicle candidate here. What is this? Nope. Flatbed truck, no dice. Hippie van, no dice. Oh dear. One, two, three, four, five of them. Mm-hmm. Well, if I can get them all running into that uh, van, that would be good. Let's drop the backpack. I want to reach this vehicle before they start getting out of it. There we go. Whoa, what was that? Oh, the boom. Oh, that was a boomer. The boomer spewed bile. I'm blinded. Oh, there's another boomer coming, too. Boom! You clobber the boomer for 46 damage, you're covered in bile. Quite a few around me. Let's go ahead and get these smashed. Wait, I don't want to pick anything up till I get my backpack back. Good. We're good. Everything's alright. 
Um, I can check some of these other bodies real quick. USB drive, prescription stimulant. I saw the word prescription and I got excited for a minute, but of course it's not a prescription antipsychotic. 170 duct tape. Mm, maybe we should go, uh, let's go get our backpack, I think. These zombies, I think they're too far away to really influence us right now. Where are we on the map? Ah, right on the edge. Right on the edge. We're in escape by foot range now. Um... That's excellent. I'm going to leave... What does this note say? Okay. That's where my backpack is. I'm going to leave a note here. Uh, with an exclamation point. And some color. Uh, Fort. In other words, this is a good place to fight from. And it's in a good location, too. Yeah, I like this spot a lot. I'm going to back out of here, though. And put that on. And there's no reason to stay and fight. <clears throat> if we do that, we're just getting distracted. I saw a book in here. The bear trap would be nice to have. Dog food. And the kitchen had some things. Here we go. Top gear and Glamopolitan. Yeah, it's not worth going into that cursed house for. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm not risking my life for a book. See, there's blood everywhere inside here, and I'm pretty sure I wasn't responsible for any of it. Oh, hello. Okay, no, there's more than one. Let's make it an unfair fight. Oh, dear. Hmm. You know what I wonder? I'm really serious about this too. <clears throat> I think... <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so sorry. I'm starting to think that the lower the value that you put on the volume control in the um, game's o OGG files, I think the lower the value, the higher the volume. Because right before this episode started, I turned the um, the combat sounds down by 10 more points. And I thought they were pretty low already. But I'm starting to think that a lower value is a higher volume. I need to go in there, put them at 100%, and see if you can hear them at all. Or at, at, at 100. I think there's an inverse relationship. Because, wow, the combat sounds are too loud, and I just turned them down. What's this? parking lot okay so our quest for a turret I think we're gonna come up short that's okay this is a uh, SUV got us a little two-seat beetle pretty cool In a four-seat pickup truck.
Turpentine and polycarbonate sheets. Polycarbonate is good for vacuum molding and turpentine. <clears throat> turpentine. What is that good for? Weird stuff. <laughs> Water pure... Oh, wait, no. It's not telling me about the turpentine. It's telling me about the um, bottle. Yeah, it's telling me about the container. Open that. And examine the turpentine. There we go. Oil of turpentine. <coughs> Gosh, I'm so sorry. I don't know what's wrong with my throat today. It can be stored, you know, of nothing you could craft with it. Okay. Well, we'll just leave it alone. All right, folks, I'm going to take a pause here. Oh, look. I've never seen it rain before in this game. This is that... Uh, from day 84 to, or day 61 <clears throat> to day 84 and this is it it's the first rain look at the sky oh huh. you can see the storm cloud that is causing the rain how cool is that man that's really neat it is really neat Well, we'll just go home and dry off, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause the recording until I can get everything sorted out and ready to go into our uh, into our van. Do you know, though, this is an ice cream truck. Look at this mini freezer. Is it a two-tile thing, or were there two of them? I think there were two of them. You know, we might want to have a mini freezer in the uh, hippie van. That might be very useful. Uh, let's see if we can remove that. The one that's undamaged, yeah. Yeah, we can. Sweet, that'll make a nice addition. You know, it's odd. <clears throat> Where's my spear strap? Is it gone? Oh, the crowbar. The heavy crowbar is now. Let's see. I don't need another crowbar. Actually, we're wearing this firefighter belt, which has two items stored on it. I would... Let's apply the uh, firefighter's belt. Yeah, this. What do you want to attach? Well, first of all, uh, yeah, we can um, draw the makeshift crowbar and drop it. No, I drew it. Yeah, okay. Drop the makeshift crowbar. And then apply firefighter strap and attach we can't attach the heavy crowbar hmm all right I mean it's holding shooters earmuffs for crying out loud I'm not sure why so I want to apply the spear strap and um holster hmm. well, this has become somewhat complicated for some reason draw the dented heavy crowbar drop it there now I want to put the iron shod quarter staff on it there now we've got that slung 
<clears throat> the heavy crowbar has a prying of three, the makeshift has a prying of one, but I think we have a crowbar that has a prying of two, so I really don't think we need either of those anymore. Now, I want to get the mini freezer, I want to wield it. There we go. This is going to be uh, exhausting to carry, probably, but... Uh, no, not too bad. It's nothing like the battery. The battery damn near killed us. Here we are. Alright, so we've got trunk space. Oh, look, we can see the solar panel now. For some reason, I couldn't see that before. It didn't seem like. So, let's store, uh, mount the freezer in here. If I examine the vehicle, this space here has the solar panel. This one is empty right now. I want to install and Oops. Freezer. Uh, not an option for us. Hmm. Let's look at the description on the mini freezer. It is a vehicle part, compact version of a chest freezer designed as a mobile solution for freezing food. Alright. You can disassemble it, yes. And You could install it in a vehicle mini freezer. You could install it as an appliance mini freezer. Either one. Uh huh. So maybe we search for the wrong thing. If I go to this here and I say install, and then on my search, I put in mini freezer. Not an option. Why not? This may be a thing that we're going to have to look on the wiki. Okay, these are all the M's. Military black box mini reactor. Why it would give me the option for a mini reactor when I clearly don't have that in my hands, but not a mini freezer, I'm not sure. Um, here's a question. I may need to put it in a trunk space like this where I've already got trunk volume or whatever. Let's try installing it here. Let's see, mini freezer. No, let's just keep it simple. Mini, mini reactor. Hmm. It does not like the idea of installing it. All right, let's try installing it in the other trunk. Um, that's right here. What if I hit install now? Still doesn't appear to be an option. Mini. Mini reactor. Huh. <clears throat> okay. What is it? What if, um, what if, uh, what if you just set it in? Can I apply the one that I have in my hands? Um, when I hit apply, it did not come up as an option. So let's do our inventory, select this, hit activate. You can't use it there. You can't construct while in a vehicle, it says. So that's not an option. I would think I would need to deploy it or something. All right, let's try this. Let's um, drop it right there. You put your mini freezer in the hippie van's trunk. Okay, still not an option. Definitely want to remember vehicle's position. So, I mean, that trunk was empty, and now it's got a great big, well, no, no, not empty. I did put some stuff in there. But now it's got this great big mini freezer in it. Yeah, right there. It's a vehicle part, straight up. Hmm. All right, well, I'm going to take a pause here, and I will be back. All right, folks, I'm tired of goofing around. Let's do the deal. I don't see in the build menu how to release the Gary. 
As far as the doors go, I don't see anything. I see board up the door. I don't see remove the boards from the door. I see remove metal door and glass door. I don't see remove reinforcements from door. So, I guess we're going to wield our bow and smash our way in. Hello, Gary. How's he doing? You know he's not fully healed. That's amazing. He's wielding his butcher knife. I'm going to talk to Gary. He says, are we there yet, my dude? I can't wait to burn that building. Be patient, accomplice. We're getting there soon. You are now free to leave your containment. Did you destroy part of this room that you've been in? You didn't shit on the floor, did you? Why is, why is the toilet destroyed, Gary? What happened in here? What have you done? Can I swap positions with Gary? I can. All right, Gary. I think we've got everything that we might need. I'm going to uh, grab the jerry can. That's the very last thing. So I'm just going to apply my spear strap to put my quarterstaff back away. I've already sorted through all these items. The only thing I want to do is get this one jerry can. Um, Jerry. Right there. Oh, it's right here. Wield that. And I think I grabbed everything. I grabbed one of these entrenching tools and an extension cord and a bunch of tools. I don't know if I grabbed a hacksaw, but I think I've got one downstairs. I really don't want to get too caught up in trying to get everything. I know I've got some food and medicine. Oh, one last thing. Let's grab the jerky out of the refrigerator. So we've got some stuff that's going to last a long time. So let's see what we've got here. Um, I need to grab my water for sure. Protein rations? No. I'm thinking this here. We've got smoked meat. That'll last a long time. Toastums, I think, will too. And then we should have some, uh, some kind of jerky. Let's grab the mineral water. And um, here's some meat jerky. And let's grab some uh, peanut butter. I want just peanut butter because it's really... Oh, here we go. Fruit leathers will last a long time. We can munch on that. We can munch on cheese and peanut butter spread and uh, in an emergency butter, I guess. We've got animal cooking oil we can just leave here. We're not abandoning base. So, see if I can pick all that up. I can. Very good. Is that all my food right there? I didn't see any water at all. Hmm. That's okay. I brought... Um, cast iron frying pan with me I think, my, I think I'll leave the pot here because we are coming back I'm just going to drag this stuff here's what I've got bringing with us I'm bringing one rifle and some magazines 5.56 NATO, the acetylene torch and a candle the frying pan for cooking and a cordless drill crowbar, electric blanket for sleeping on I might want a pillow but we can grab one out of a house entrenching tool for digging guider counter just for fun pliers, rubber hose, screwdriver, soldering iron and then I got some of our basic um, health goods from flu shots to hemo powder, some uh, painkillers. That's just aspirin though, but I've got the stronger painkillers on me, multivitamins, Prussian blue just in case, antiparasitic antiseptics. And then some gun mods that I can't install yet, water purification tablets and soap. So I'm going to grab all that stuff. Hey, wait, I thought I hit drag. Hey, excuse me, Gary. I'm trying to drag this stuff. Here we go. Great. I think I got all this already and all that stuff. Okay. We are going to make our escape. Finally. Maybe. In the rain. On this dreary, rainy day. Welcome back to the Cataclysm, Gary. You've been missed. All right, we'll stop hauling that, and I want to uh, use my advanced menu to do this and select that, which is the trunk. 
Now, we've also got... Okay, there's the IAR with 5.56 NATO and the 30-round magazine. Okay, great. Hammer, miscellaneous repair kit, pocket knife, screwdriver, sewing kit, hack pro software, and an X-Acto knife, and more snacks, and more medicine, <clears throat> and also stuff like mechanical pumps and strings and glow plugs and so on is already in there. So I think we've got enough stuff. I have never packed for a trip before, so I have no idea how it works. Um, Gasoline-wise, we have enough to escape the city. That's all I'm going to worry about right now. I guess I need to drop this jerry can in there. And uh, I brought an extra cash card. Okay, we can drop this food stuff that I picked up. We don't need that in our pocket for sure. Okay. Uh, Gary, are you in the driver's seat? Let's see. Ah, oh, here we go. Examine the vehicle, forget its position, turn on the engine. Ah, there you go. There's a recharger, which is not currently on. Uh, I didn't bring spare batteries. Eh, it probably won't be a problem. I'll just recharge whatever batteries I have. All right. Uh, Gary, you are, in fact, in the driver's seat. Would you mind swapping positions with me? Thank you very much. Oh, it's a momentous moment, ladies and gentlemen. Now, we've got to get this thing turned around. Uh, I guess we'll do that in the intersection. How much gas we got? 7%. Okay. Wait. What do you want to do with Gary? Hey, excuse me, what? Aren't I driving? You take control of the hippie van. Here we go. The weight of the hippie van damages several items. I know I want to start out in the other... Oh, I'm heck on those street lights, you know what? Here we go. Alright, we're going to take it slow. Eight miles an hour. Wait, what is this? Wait, X. No, X. Is this my backpack? No. Okay. <laughs> It's my cut processor board. Let's make sure I got my backpack on. I do. Okay. I'm very thirsty. Let's, uh, oh. Oh. Now, okay, wait. Before we make an error, let me let go of the controls. Let me go back here and see if I've got water back here to drink. Yes, I do. Okay, I put my water in here. Let's get a mineral water. A couple swigs of water. Resume control. Sorry, Gary, I can't drive when I'm thirsty. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I can't believe it. We've got a relatively decent vehicle. And we're driving it out. Maybe. Alright, let's look at our route again. Once we get to this intersection and turn left, it's a straight shot out of the city. You know, I never really noticed that there's like a bunch of solar panels on this electric cars over here. Should we be taking those? Probably. And there's a Marlin 8, 9, 8, 1895 SBL. Hmm. Okay. We are going to have to siphon some fuel, that's for sure. 
I don't know if we've tried to siphon out of this vehicle before. Does this say that it has any gasoline in it? Where's the tank? There. This has diesel, and I don't think it has any in it anyway. Well, we drove right through a hand mirror. got one Molotov cocktail on me and I think I've got maybe two in storage um, we're gonna have to grab some more gasoline for the quest but I've got the zipper bags for that I just don't have glasses to make more Molotov cocktails but oh well you know we're not fully prepared for this but I, I think I got in a hurry doing the preparations because it's frustrating I'm just not sure what to pack so far, no zombies visible. Because we have cleared them out. It says, I feel sick to my stomach. Hmm. Not a good sign. if I've got something for nausea. What did I do? Eat some rotten food or something? I don't know what I did. Maybe it was the um, boomers that exploded in my face. Aw, oh, man. I collided with a muffler. Okay, wait a minute. I thought I could squeeze through there. Oh man. Wait, what's going on here? I can't get backed up. There we go. Son of a gun. Alright, well, let's see if we can. Um, how do we need to get through this intersection? Yeah, I really thought I could squeeze right through there. Um, this is bad when the human player has, like, no driving skill. I guess we'll try to run over that mailbox over there. Hippie van collided with a headlight. Okay. We're definitely going to collide with that mailbox. Hmm. But we didn't um, run over it. What, is that thing anchored in like uh, with the concrete or what? Maybe we need to get a good running start at it. Hey, my practical skill in vehicles increased by one. Nice. Let's see if we can hit that mailbox at 12 miles an hour and take it out. Bam. There we go. Took out that mailbox. And we have alerted a zombie. How far have we made it? We've got one block to go. Ooh, a lot of dead zombies in this zone. Wonder what took them out. What do we got over here? A whole lot of um, destroyed stuff and a whole bunch of dead zombies. Even a dead zombie predator, it looks like. 
prescription tramadol. What is this? Somebody dropped a prescription tramadol. Hmm. See that zombie hunter? We didn't kill him. I don't know what did. Ah, roaches. Roaches once again. We've got roach dirt and dead roaches in the area. Once again, the zombies won. But they took out the zombie hunter. That's pretty cool. Alright, we've got a bunch of zombies interested in us right there. Driving into the uncleared area. You hear Gary Mercado, Pizzialo, saying, Move! It's a zombie brute southeast. Really? He's to the southeast? That's fine. We're moving north. We're good. Uh, what is this? A batwing zombie. This zombie's arms have stretched far beyond human limits. The skin lengthened into a gruesome, fleshy membrane. The mutation does not suit it well and moves clumsily, even compared to other zombies, but can occasionally leap a significant distance. Oh. Uh, okay. I think we're still good. Ah, uh, okay. Up ahead, we've got a little trouble. We've got a shocker. And what do we have here? A shriekling. Never seen this before. A heavily mutated child zombie twitches and flails its limbs in painful looking spasms as it runs about. And I believe that we're just going to gas it and run over the remaining zombies in the highway because it looks pretty clear up here. So far, I see no vehicles. Once we get to the end of that block, yeah, that's it. Now look here. This is partly why I wanted to drive up to this part of the city. We can climb up here and get a good view. But for some reason, we've got all these. I'm just realizing that Kim Valdivia is still hostile. This is going to be a problem. But none of the other guys are hostile. So maybe they'll take Kim out for us. But we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 NPCs holed up at the motel. And one hostile. Because we were wearing our earplugs. Believable. Okay, let's uh, kick it up to about 20 miles an hour. We've got a lot of them in the highway dead ahead. And if we can, I will whip around them. But if we have to, we'll run right into them. You hear Gary say, are we fighting? There's a shocker zombie north out on the horizon. Yeah, I know, Gary. I'm a little worried about it, too. I'm going to kick it up to 32 miles an hour. I'm going to try to swing around the shocker. Yep, there's a car up ahead. We're going to have to hit one of these guys. Bam. I rammed into the zombie and stunned it. All right, looks like we killed two of them by running them over. And we're going about 32 miles an hour right past these two cars here. Oh, wow. And there's some kind of utility vehicle up ahead. By God, we're going to make it. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Mark Crump and Gary Mercado have escaped the city. And we don't want to run over anything. Can I slow down a little bit? Yeah, probably. Let's get down to a comfortable speed. And then we've got to figure out where we're going to hole up. Now, if this cabin will support us, we can uh, stop in there, park the van. This will be the outskirts of town. I like it okay. What else do we have here? A barn and a ruined cabin. We don't want to be in a ruined cabin. Or we can keep driving. Oh, look here. Triffid Grove. Uh-huh. We don't want to be too close to that, probably. There's a cabin next to the Triffid Grove. You know, this cave may have stuff that we're not going to want to be around. Apartment tower, dispensary, and houses. Yeah, for now, I think I like this cabin. Should we wheel around and go say hi to these NPCs? I'm kind of uh, tempted to do that. Let's turn, because I've been wanting to meet these guys anyway. Oh, dear. What do we got here? Feral human. 
feral human, feral human. What are they carrying? Pipes and stuff? Not too threatening if we can kind of isolate them and fight them. Regular zombie. So that's good. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh no. The dissoluted devourer is... They're at war over here. Garrett Boyce is apparently uh, fighting two zombies, one on either side of him. He's next to Sky Wallace, who's apparently fighting side by side with him. Don Huggins is over here with a makeshift machete. Reggie Young and Reeves standing aside, watching the catastrophe unfold. Here we have Jackson Norman and Dissolute Devourer. Who's this? Lorinda Grifton and Dolio. His name is Dolio. We also have Nicholas Rico. And these guys, I, I imagined that they would be inside the hotel. They're standing out in the parking lot. Oh dear. So we could run over these um, feral humans and come roaring up in our hippie van and save the day. That seems like the right move. Except, of course, we may be bringing a whole horde of zombies behind us. Alright. I'm going to floor it. And run right over these guys. I'm in no mood to fight these feral humans while my prospective friends are in combat. Bam. Bam. You hear Gary saying, hold on, I want to pulp that bruised corpse of a feral human. Ignore it, Gary. We're going 32 miles an hour. I don't want you getting out right now. Woo! Annette Crow swings wildly and misses. She says, witness me. Stand tall. Oh, my God. There is just this totally chaotic... Oh, my God. What a horrendous, chaotic scene we have here. It's a war. It's the last stand of the survivors. They're all mixed together with the zombies in the craziest ways. The one I'm looking out for, that I'm worried about, is going to be the one that I think is hostile to me. Where is she? Vernon, Alvera, Quinn. Hands down, one of the coolest things I've seen. There she is. Noella Decker. Still hostile to me. Garrett, Lane, Alec. Wow. What a sight. An army of survivors fighting an army of the dead. That is amazing. I don't know where we fit in. I don't know where we fit into this. Um, do we drive up and hop out and start battle? I don't think any of those zombies represent a tremendous threat to us. And we could always drive off. That's that's the thing. I'm going to leave myself, hopefully, a way of driving away. Um, let's slow down. Turn down here. I think I'll pull up next to this building and hop out. Maybe I can talk to one of these guys real quick. Let's see what happens if I hit chat, talk to. Gary's trying to stay. What if we talk to Chaz? He says, this is my territory, you weird. Hmm, I'm not sure these people are friendly. I mean, if I go for the persuade, he may go hostile. Calm down. I'm not going to hurt you. You may be attacked. Proceed? No. Uh... Okay, I'm hitting the escape button. It's not letting me out of this. Uh, look at. Okay. This is my territory, shitface. Um, okay. Check his opinion. He doesn't really have one. Why is he so mean? Um, size up his stats. He's got between six and nine strength. This is my territory, dimwit. Okay. 
I can't get out of this dialogue or I would. I'm just going to say, calm down. I'm not going to hurt you. Chaz Jacob gets angry. I don't... I just want to make friends. Who was Chaz? Okay, let's use view mode. Flip over to this. Look at Chaz if we can still see him. Did he join the ranks of the angry? I don't see him now. I think we drove past being able to see him. Um, Alright, let's slow down. This is probably a bad idea. We should probably... We should probably not talk to these people. They may be in some kind of gang or something. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to risk it. Let's um Let's stop driving. Gary, what are you doing? Gary, come on, man. Gary, get back here, dude. There's too many of them. The Dissoluted Devourer, too, look. Holy crap, what is that? That's Garrett. He's got like, he, the whole guy is just a, a great big um, holster or something. Are you guys going to take out this dissoluted devourer or, or what? This is not good. This is not good. We probably shouldn't have stopped. Oh wait, that's a uh, shocker zombie. And is my iron shot quarterstaff, does it conduct electricity? It does not conduct electricity. such a mess. Gary, you are going to get yourself killed. Now, are these guys attacking me? Christopher Carrera misses. Misses who or what? They've got little yellow exclamation points, ignoring and aware, ignoring and aware. So I don't see that any of these guys are actually hostile. But we've got the problem of the dissoluted devourer. He is, that's Chaz. He is not happy with me. Gary, you are in the mess, dude. You are in the mess. This is what I was afraid of. This is why I didn't want to unleash the Gary. I'm backing up, man. I'm backing up because some of these NPCs are hostile. One of them's attacking to kill. What does he have for a weapon, this guy? He's wielding a leather belt. Yeah. But I'm afraid to attack him in front of the other NPCs. And then we've got the other lady who's hostile to me, too. So I need to make friends before, you know. Let's see what's going to happen. Gary's grabbed and in a whole mess. Uh-oh. Okay, this NPC wants my blood, dude. Wait. I whacked him and he disappeared. Did he not exist? You quickly strike Chaz J J Jacob, but do no damage. Chaz Jacob disappears. Wait a minute. How many of these people actually exist?
Does Dolio exist? He says, keep your distance. I can put away my weapon. Another survivor. We should travel together. I could keep you safe. He says, yeah, I don't think so. Okay, he actually exists. Um, Kim. She says, keep your distance. Don't worry, I'm not going to hurt you. Okay, what was the effect of that? She gets scared and turns to flee and says bye. Okay, the dissoluted devourer has, gla has ga uh, uh, grabbed Gary. Oh, man. Wait. So it definitely exists. It's totally un... Well, it's, it's bleeding, but other than that, it's unhurt. How's Gary doing? Gary's taken one pip of damage. Now, these survivors... Is Kim still mad at me? Kim. Fleeing and hostile. Is everybody fleeing? I mean, are these guys going to get down to business or what? I can't believe Chaz didn't exist. That really freaks me out. Now I'm starting to wonder. Wait a minute. If a bunch of these guys are hallucinations, Gary's probably fighting this thing alone. How do I know the difference? We know Kim exists. What's the play here, guys? What is the play? I'm going to end the episode right here. See me in the comments. Give me some sense of direction here. I need help. Thanks for joining me for this episode. Wait, before I end it. Uh... He's got a wood crossbow. How do we center our view again? There's a... Oh, shit. Where's the center of your view button? Because my view... Center on character. Oh. Center on me. Okay. Not that they can't wreck me with melee weapons, but I am particularly afraid of non-melee weapons. Wood crossbow. Wood crossbow. Wood crossbow. Ruger 1022. I mean, I really don't want these guys mad at me. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Pot helmet. Alright. I'll see you guys in the comments. Thanks for joining me for this episode. I've been VC. This has been Cataclysm. Take care.